I wanted you to see this. Three out of four nesting buckets are being occupied. And now we're going to walk over here and go to the other nesting buckets. And three of them being occupied here. And if you can see in there, there's a cockerel. There's a Rhode Island Red walking up to us there. Oh, by the way, in case you haven't been here and seen, this is the inside of the hen house. Kind of the inside. There's Sebring. She's been spared the, uh, anyway, she's been spared for now. She's a good layer. There's a Buckeye. Pull it. I've, I've learned that they are officially pullets until they reach a year of age. So we can't count, even though they're lying, we can't call them hens until they're a year of age. And there's one of my Rhode Island Reds that I th I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep. Um, she's bald on the back because the previous rooster decided that she was a favorite target of his. And so when they mount them and they scrape their feet down their backs to get on their on their legs and their hips, they pull the feathers out. And that little chirping that you heard is the cockerel right there. He's looking at you. And he's uh He's just talking to the girls, and I think Sebring is going to lay an egg right about now. She's kind of embarrassed. She's got an audience. She's working on it. If it doesn't go too long, we'll wait here until it comes out. And there it is. Freshly laid. Thank you, Sebring. Girls are complaining there's too much uh, traffic here, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. Thank you, Sebring. You guys might remember the hen house here. Then I've added this part. Put a screen up there, wood blocks or two by four stacked up. Put in my automatic door, and there's a swing door that I can get in and out of. Because trust me, I wouldn't be able to get in and out of that. And I took down the uh, the big four by eight piece of plywood that was here, and I put up the screen or this fencing for the summer and fall months. And then before the weather turns bad, I'll go ahead and. Uh, put that up again just to help protect them from some of the wind and I'm probably gonna put a piece of plywood over the door part most of the door here too so all right I don't know if you can see that I got a little PVC tube feeders in there that they're eating out of yeah, because it's supposed to rain later the feeders inside there. Alright, I've talked enough. I gotta get ready to go. And you just a glimpse of my backyard. Later.